Hello everyone and welcome back to Random Games. This isn't a series I do a whole lot on my channel, but it's one of my favorite things to record because I get to check out a whole lot of different games. So what we're doing today, guys, is we're checking out the Ludum Dare games. There was recently, like a couple days ago, a Ludum Dare competition. And in that competition, you have 48 hours to create a video game. So I checked out a few of them, I downloaded ones that I thought would be interesting for a video, and now we're going to play them. So the first game here guys is called Cave Swing. It's really simple, but I thought it looked really interesting. Basically, it's like Spider-Man in a cave, you're a little ball, and you have to like grab hold of stuff and swing around. So let's see if we can play it. Okay, I want to see if I can get through this thing. So you just click it once and it shoots, and then I think you click again to let go, and then you click again to, to, to just shoot again. Okay, alright. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I feel like it's way too hard for me. Can I like do anything else? Can I maybe bounce out of the ground? I can do that. So I should probably try and stay up above, right? There you go. Get a little bit of momentum going, right? Mm, not really. So I should probably point out, guys, that the theme for this game jam is either two buttons or growth. So in this case, we're using two buttons. It's left click and right click. And uh, I just realized that you can actually uh, bring in your, your swing, which is obviously a really important thing to be able to do, because when you're swinging, you can pull yourself up and get a lot more distance. Whoop! And then you can actually get these things up here. Yeah, and you died. Okay. Is there only one level, or once I beat this level, I go on to the next one? I'm not really sure, but come on. There you go. Nope. <laughs> now I gotta try and get back. Oh, that was pretty good. I wasn't expecting to jump to hit the wall again. Okay, guys, this is really hard. I'm really not used to these controls here. Ugh, come on. Oh, I'm gonna... Shit. Woo! I went to the next part. I thought you had to complete everything. I didn't realize that was, like, you know, the next part of the cave. Okay, hold right button to reel. Yeah, now you're gonna tell me that. I was interested in knowing that when I needed it. Well, I still need it, but still, I wanted it earlier and I didn't have it. I don't think the coins really matter that much. I think we should just try and get through this cave. Come on. Yeah. We're doing it. It's happening. I just get confused with the controls. I know there's only two buttons, but still. <laughs> I keep forgetting which button is which. Okay. Throw yourself over. Nope. Try again. There you go. And swing down. And up. And whoop. Shit. Got it. Got it. Whoop. Got it. Got it. Oh, man, that was close, but I actually did it. Okay, slide down here. I don't know what that was, but it didn't really work. There you go. Okay, and then throw. <laughs> Sometimes when you, when you press the button, it seems to bring you back down instead of up. All right, so what we want to do is we want to just drop and then up. There you go. And then, ah, crap. <laughs> this is hard. This is really hard. Okay, bring yourself in and up and up and hit and shit. Oh, there you go, guys. I've gotten every one so far. And then I missed some. But, ah, <laughs> how am I going to get that? Can I, like, swing? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so I can swing pretty much anywhere. So, in that case, I can just reach back. And I should be able to stop myself from swinging too hard. Like, I can go here. There you go. And then throw yourself. Nope, that didn't work. I guess you can't go any further. Ah, I'm starting to really understand this, guys. It's really easy to stop yourself from swinging in a certain direction just by, like, you know, throwing your thing in the opposite direction. And no, nah, no, 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 don't touch that thing because it goes like that. I don't like it. Oh, now that was a good one. I mean, it wasn't. It was very sloppy, but it worked. And now we got to find out how we're getting through here, guys. And I think I know what I want to do. Okay. First of all, I want to give myself a little bit of extra length so I can get those three, and that worked. And now we're going to jump over here, and we're just going to slowly swing across, okay? Very gently. Here we go, so... Oh, no, 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 no! Shit! Come on, bitch. You want some of this swing? Oh, damn! Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. Here we go. Where, when is this level gonna end? Just please let it end. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're still going. We're still going. There's still stuff left to do. What, why is it like this? Is this some sort of boss level? Is this the boss level? Why am I not swinging very good? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! No! There's something else over there, too. Was that a big thing, or was that a bunch of small things? It's a big thing! Yes! Okay, that's the end of the game, I think. We gotta get there. We gotta try and get through this hole. Yeah! Aw! Oh. I'm gonna get it, guys. I'm gonna get it. Here we go. Jump, and... No! Oh, that would've been perfect. That would've been perfect if I did it right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I did it. I got through it. Thank you, Ajmal Razzini, for allowing me to complete this... I'm so happy. I, I, I don't know. I don't, whoa, where? Oh, I almost got through like that. Can I do that again? That was awesome. Come on, pull me through to the end. I like that. If I'd actually gotten through it, it would have been much better. Here we go. Nope. Problem here, guys, is I don't know if there's anything at the end or not. There's nothing at the end. Okay, I just wasted my time getting back here again just so the ball could disappear. See you later, ball. See you never again.
ladies and gentlemen, introducing Forklift Man, the most amazing man in the world because he's part man, part forklift. Okay, um, so how does this work? Oh, there you go. Damn, that is some arms on you, bro. Oh, shit. So this is made by the guy who made the game Where Is My Hammer? And he also made the game Last Night and a bunch of other games, probably. I'm not really sure. I'm really bad at remembering who made what game. So I need to reach over there with Forklift Man, grab the box, and then put the box somewhere, right? Oh, shit, you took my box away. Bring it, bring it back again. Oh, and it actually shows what's going on here. So C for a different view. So you can have arm view right here, which is pretty amazing. Or you can have this view or this view. Okay, so it's like a different field of view on this one. And then you get the outside view. And F, what does F do? Oh, shit. Oh, guys, guys, what did I do? What did I do? I managed to get the camera to do this. Hang on a second. I got to get it back in because I need to um, I need to point it up a little bit more so I can see that beautiful forklift man face. And now it's too much. Is it? Is it really? Maybe it's not. Forklift man. Forklift man, get over here. Hey, hey. No, I, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so point this way. Zoom in. Run that way. Turn around and look at that face, everybody. That is one beautiful face on that forklift man. Holy crap. All right. Well, this is why you don't do drugs. Hey guys, you wanna buy some cocaine? Everyone likes cocaine, right? <laughs> okay, well as entertaining as this is to just watch this guy walk around and stretch his arms out and shit, I think we should probably get back to the actual game. Maybe just one more hug. Please, please hug me, Forklift Man. Thank you. I love the sign your arms make when you hug. It's, it's delicious. Hey, he went back to normal. Look at that. He's a totally normal guy now. Hi, I'm a normal guy. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. That is just wonderful. I'm having way too much fun just playing around with these views and shit. Okay, bring back the first person view. Let's 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 do this now. Okay, mouse hole brings the arms out. So what we want to do now is we want to get those arms out. We want to reach over, grab that box, and we... Shit, stop. Bring the box up there into the hole. Box, no. No. Oh, hey, hey. Stop. No, I got you. I got you. In the whole box. There! Congratulations, Forklift Man, you did it! Let's move on to the next room. Man, this guy always makes hilarious games, guys. I love it. Be gentle. Why do I have to be gentle? I don't I don't see a point in it. I'd rather not be gentle. What are you even doing here? What what is it? Why is your arm like your 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 shirt is in the wall here and then you also have another shirt on out here like that? It, just, it creeps me out, man. Really creeps me out. What does this one say? E or space to what to 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 let it go I guess oh, yeah it's to let it go okay so it's falling down like that cool okay so we have to take this box right here grab it and bring it over here so I'm just gonna oh hang on that's too close to me I can't see what's going on and jump nope nope stop 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 there I got gotcha. you nope no I got gotcha. you I got gotcha. you no 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 I got gotcha. you and drop why did you come towards me. Hey, there you go. I did it. I did it. Now, what am I going to get? Do I get a present? Do I get a... Do... I didn't need to do that, did I? Mm, I think I just needed to use the box to get up to the next place, didn't I? This is bullshit, man. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when I do way too much when I don't need to. Wait, hang on a second. I still can't get up here, can I? I mean, there's not, there's not enough... Drop it. There's not enough to get up here. I still can't jump. Well, shit. You know what, guys? I was gonna get another box to put across here, and then I realized I don't need to do that. All I gotta do is just bring this one box right here, drop it off, and then I get- No! Stop! Put it down! Damn it, Forklift Man, you're really bad at following directions, and now you can't even get up here, can you? Can you just- There you go. And now I can just reach over and grab the other boxes to bring them closer to me like that, and then drop them off, and then do that again and again. But make sure you pull your arms in, or else you start grabbing shit when you don't want to. And nobody wants that. I almost fell off. Oh, I can see my feet! Wow, 10 out of 10 for realism on that one. Shit, man! And jump to this one, and then jump up here, and then I can leave, right? I can. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Guys, games are immediately 100% better when they have a really creepy dude in them. And this game really takes the cake for creepy dudes. Why are there so many boxes in this room? What do you want me to do about it? There's things over there, and there's that thing. What is that thing? Is that where I gotta put the thing? Hold on. I said, I th said thing a lot, but don't worry about it. I just wanna grab that, drop it, and then grab this. Like that, and put it up there, right? What is that? What are you doing up there? Come on. Oh my god, guys. Are you telling me all this time there was a new control that I didn't know about? If you hold control, your your legs get bigger? How does this work? Hold 
Control hole. This is control hole. I'm holding control. Nothing's happening. How about right control? No? No. <gasps> if you hold control, you can click the mouse button and you'll get bigger. Look at me now. Oh my god, guys. I need I need to put the camera on there because I need to see what that looks like. If. There. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at this shit right here. Just look at it. This game is hilarious. Hey guys, now I'm really tall as well. <laughs> what? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I'm gonna murder your entire family. This changes everything, guys. This changes everything. So now all I gotta do is I just gotta take this and put it in here. There you go, that one turned into a green thing. And now there's five left. I don't know why that didn't happen earlier when I stuck that in there. Why did it not do anything? Was it not good enough? Come on, go in. Don't be a bitch about it. Just do it. Okay, never mind. Forget it. All right, so I figured out something very important. It turns out you need to put the right size in the right size hole. So like this giant one right here, this probably has to go in the giant hole. You know what I'm saying? Giant block for a giant hole. Here we go. In it goes. Everything's fine. Now we just got four left to do. He tried and he tried, but no matter how hard he tried, his block would just not go in that hole, guys. So I don't know what to do. Okay, the other blocks went in fine. There's only one block left that can go in there. I don't know what all these shiny things are over there. But it's just not working for me. Ooh, what is this? Another block. Now, why would there be another block in here when there's already a block out here? Huh? What the hell's the point of that? So this is a block that needs to go in the top. I was working such a long time and did not know there was another block. And now I get to go through this, and there's probably more stuff for me to do. Okay. Well, I would complete this entire thing, guys, but I think we should move on and do one more game before we finish. Forklift man, do you have anything you'd like to say before we go? Yeah, I do. Stay in drugs and don't do school. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Forklift Man. Goodbye. Alright, so this game is called Super Lefty Garden Fighty, and it's basically you're a gardener and there are trees trying to kill you. And it's uh, very similar to One Finger Death Punch, so it should be pretty simple. You just use left and right to attack. So a tree runs at you and you attack it. And another tree, and you attack it again. I think when the uh, when the lightning comes up, that means you can strike him. Let me see what happens you try and do before that. Yep, if you try and do it before that, then you lose your combo, and you start getting killed by trees. One more tree. Oh, I made a tree. Oh, okay. So so what am I being attacked by? I thought I was being attacked by trees, but no, it says next tree is in six kills. So they must be like some sort of zombie thingies. I don't know, it's pretty cool though, man. I really like the art style. And the cool thing about games like this is that they're made 48 hours, so you really gotta appreciate the work that went into them, man. I mean, I appreciate the work that went into most games, but, you know, when you make a game 48 hours, that 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 is some real bullshit, man. Okay, so I'm assuming this is one of those endless games. I have three HP, so eventually, if enough uh, of these things run at me, I'll be killed. No, I got four HP now, so I guess you get more HP as you grow trees. All right, let's see what happens when you die. I wanna get one more tree first, and there's uh, 31 kills until I get another tree. So I guess it's a bit of a exponential jump there between levels. Cool, well, I'll try not to die. Okay, guys, so this game gets super intense when you get a bit further, and I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay, but I got no HP left. Yeah, once you get a little bit further into the game, there's all kinds of trees running at you, look at this shit. And you gotta like, you gotta know which one to go with, and some of them run faster than others, I think. So you gotta be careful, because just because it's on the left, uh, just because it's the first one there doesn't mean it's gonna be the one that uh, gets to you first, I think. I don't know, man, but it's really cool. I'm actually really impressed with this, damn. I'm, I'm trying not to die, but with zero HP, it's probably not gonna last very long. So let's just see how long it takes me to die. I'll see if I can try and get to the next tree. Oh, game over. Your best combo was 53, and then a tree grew. I guess I turned into a tree after I died. That's beautiful, man. Circle of life and all that shit. Good. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end this video here. I highly recommend you go check out the games that I played today because they're all really awesome. There's gonna be links down below in the description for all of them. And while you're at it, you really should go check out the rest of the Ludum Diary entries because there's a lot of really cool games there. Some of them um, are on my list to play, but I just couldn't get around to them today because there's so many games that I did wanna play. So I'm probably gonna make a second video on this as well. So if you guys wanna see a second video on Ludum Diary entries, let me know down below in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.